Welcome to Polycosm. My name is Christina and today we'll be looking at a method I use in a lot of my illustration work by taking a raster image in Photoshop, converting it into an SVG vector file and then creating a base mesh based on that vector file. It's very quick and easy to do and today I'll be showing you how I do that. Let's get started. Before you start anything, make sure you update to the newest version of Photoshop CC because this is kind of a new feature Adobe has implemented. And now what you'll want to do is start out with a semi-sharp raster image. It can be a PNG, it can be a JPEG. Just make sure that the image is silhouetted against a white background. I think that's just the easiest way uh, Photoshop can kind of pick up on what you want. Head over to Window, Libraries, and just click the plus sign. Make sure that your layer is selected and click create from image. Next, head over to shapes. Here you can kind of adjust the sliders in order to choose the amount of detail retained. One thing to note though, is that this feature only works with one color images. So if you have several colors, um, it won't really work. It'll kind of merge everything into one shape. So once you've chosen the right settings for your image, click OK and the generated vector will be saved to your library. In order to download the file, click this little icon and choose view on website. Your browser will open up and all you need to do is just navigate to the correct folder, the correct file, right click, download the file as an SVG and head over to Blender. In Blender, press import and choose the SVG vector file and voila, that's pretty much it. Um, it's pretty small on the screen, so I'm going to size it up and I'm also going to get rid of the texture to kind of see everything a bit better. Head over to the modifier panel, choose solidify and just adjust the thickness until you get what you want. If you hold in shift while moving your mouse around, you'll be able to extrude in finer increments. If you zoom in, you can see that the planes are kind of split into random pieces of polygons. So in order to kind of clean up this mess, head over to Mesh, Clean Up and Limited Dissolve. Adjust the slider until you see a satisfactory result. Even from this like super simple mesh, you can see if you add in some fog and lighting, you can create a pretty cool scene. Here's another mesh I've used the exact same method on, just a different pattern. And you can see how you can kind of apply these to like different types of meshes to create extra detail. You can create ornamental stuff and it's all so easy to do. As an extra step though, I do like to kind of take the mesh into a sculpt mode and do some remeshing because that way the edges won't be as harsh and it'll kind of look a bit more organic in my opinion and this way like if you want to sculpt anything further you can kind of do that and here's another example of just a picture frame uh, you can see all the different applications this method can be applied to so yeah let your imagination run wild Here's the final lineup of all the meshes I created today using just the basic silhouettes, converting them from a raster to an SVG and then into a mesh. I hope this has been useful to you. I'd like to put out more of these quick tip videos and if you have any specific requests, let me know. Bye, see you later guys.